good morning, afternoon, evening, residential Fortnite kid here. At the time of recording this, season 7 of Fortnite is coming to an end. And, you know, I'm not really sad about it. Now, not to say this season is bad or anything. I didn't think it was anywhere near bad. I think it introduced a lot of really cool things. And the battle pass, for what it was, is pretty damn good. But... It had, a, it, it had a balancing issue. The, the the spaceships are ridiculous. At least for a long time, they were hard to kill, had weird hitboxes, and just were capable of serving up the best plate of bullshit. But they got pretty heavily nerfed, and thank God, because I don't think I would have played much longer if they didn't. Not to mention, uh, one other balancing issue at least in my opinion i haven't seen a lot of people complain about it in the community but the uh mothership abductions to where you basically get free gold guns those are way too easy those were way too easy and and they never changed them really they were so fucking easy you could just get an entire inventory of gold guns and you know i i i feel like that's a that's a little bit of an issue but one cool thing added to the gameplay is the weapons. I think the weapons added to this season were pretty cool. I don't remember any other names, but the knockoff Stark Tech Blaster, pretty damn awesome and fun. The IO Laser Sniper, pretty damn awesome and fun. The IO Pistol that shoots black holes that destroy anything in their path, that one was really fun. And just, uh, you know... I, I, I thought it was alright, I, th I thought it was okay. The parasites that you could get on your head, they subtracted 25% of your health for you to have enhanced agility and mobility. And, some people like them, I didn't personally like them. Uh, but yeah, I thought they were annoying and I, I hate the sounds that they make. Let's talk about the battle pass. Rick, Rick and Morty. We finally got Superman, and in my opinion, it's a pretty good Superman design. I like that Fortnite creates their own original designs for the superheroes. I think it's pretty cool, and um, I think the Superman one's pretty good. The alternate uh, death of Superman skin is also pretty cool. Don't know why they gave him white eyes. I don't really mind, just don't really know why. And of course, uh, the Rick Morty skin, Rick, Rick pretty, and Morty. pretty cool. I, I, I feel like they... They don't, I feel like they got that license as a joke. I don't I don't think mm. Why do you have to put the Among Us mode in the same season that Rick and Morty was in it? They they are self aware of how cringy this game is. Overall I thought this season was alright. Um I'd probably give it a six point five out of ten. And um just please don't ever add a UFO back into the game. Those things are so oppressive it hurts me. It, it, it really did. Uh, even now, you're at a huge advantage if you have one of those things and know how to use it. So yeah, um, 6.5 out of 10. I didn't think it was terrible, but let's look forward to the next season. Whenever I personally hope they bring the bows back and fucking Naruto's gonna be in it. What? Anyway... I will see you guys in the next video, and I don't fuck with no outro.